On 19 August 1871, a child named Wilbur Wright. Wilbur loved to dream. He was kind of dreamer. He was really into reading books and imagining things. And he thought one day that what would it look like to fly in the sky. That was amazing thinking for him. And he was attracted to stories of Leonardo da Vinci, who had a sketched flying machine designed in the 15th century. Probably those sketches and images were very fascinating and attracted and made him think about inventing amazing things that made our life easier to travel across the world. Well, I'm talking about the first invention of the plane on December 1793. They made their first controlled world's first successful motor operated airplane or airline. I said the word they. It means because they were two people and both were brothers. It's well known as that Wright brothers when you search on Wikipedia on internet. One was Ori Wright and second was Wilbur Wright. Well, Wilbur was older brother and Ori was younger brother. And Ori was a thinker. It means that he was into machines and inventions of new things. Actually, he had two things. He had a printing press and a bicycle show. A young, a, a older brother, Wilbur, shared his younger brother's interest into machines and his innovative mind in flights. And they together made up the mind to pursue their dream. The dream was to inventing the world's first flying machine. That's how the story began. According to some sources, the Wright brothers were not the only ones who dreamed to build a flying machine. There were many other people or inventors who wanted to build such a machine, but unfortunately none of them were successful to build their first you know, uh, machine in the world. Some of them just focused on inventing powerful engine, but neglected the problem of control and the stability. That was very important that time. And other relied on trials and error without understanding the principle and uh, aerodynamic. We can say that aerodynamic is the properties to understanding air motors spin inside the airplane. The fascinating thing is that Wright brothers approach was totally different and they research wings of flight. They started to research or study about wings of flight and they have taken a lot of um, look and birds and how they are flying and, uh, and they understand control to make it into their first flight by understanding the birds flying as well as uh, they made wind tunnel with different sizes and shapes of wings and, and propellers. Finally, uh, Wright brothers tried to fly with things it was looked like guide or we simply say tiny planes without engine. Yeah, it was no any engine. That was very surprising, right? So that was very totally different approach and they chose a place where there was very good wind to fly and they gained understanding of flying by sliding down from high places. The understanding was quite better to making their planes with their practices and with guides, we can say that. Each step made them e even more knowledgeable to start their own machine. Later, finally, they made their own machine that helped plane to move. It was kind of engine they fixed finally later. Ultimately, on 17 December 1903, the Wright brothers succeed in their dream of making a historical breakthrough with their first launch flying machine and that made our world easier to fly everywhere. The first flying machine was called the Wright Flare. The Wright Flare. We talk more about the Wright Flare. 
From wooden rail on a flat stretch of land, the engine started the propeller spin and the airplane lifted off the ground and Oli was at control because he was uh, kind of controlling uh, some planes while Wilbur ran alongside to study the wings and uh, the flight lasted almost 12 seconds and covered 120 feet or 37 we can say that meters. It was the first powered and sustained and uh, controlled flight of the heavier than air machine in the history. That's why everyone remembers the Wright brothers. Wright brother made three more flights that day, each one longer and higher than the previous one, we can say. The last one lasted 59 seconds and covered five and covered 852 feet, like 260 meters, we can say. And they had chance to be pilot or they turns as a pilot. And the people who were watching such an amazing machine first time in their life and they recorded into their cameras those biggest achievements of Wright Brothers. So people were very surprised so they had to record it to cameras and uh, it's available still those recorded. So Wright Brother had realized their dream of flight and they and they had invented their airplane, a machine that would change the world forever. Well, a little bit about their personal life. Wilbur and Early Wright were two of the seven children uh, born to Milton Wright. And Milton Wright was uh, the father of the Wright brothers. And uh, Susan Catherine Corner Wright was a mother. Early Wright was born on 19 August 1871 and passed away on 30 July 1948. And Wilbur Wright was born on 16 April 1867 and left us on 30 May 1912. They were both American aviation pioneer and uh, Wilbur brothers and Wright brother attended high school but they unfortunately did not receive diplomas. In 1884, when the family suddenly relocated from uh, Richmond, Indiana to Dayton, Ohio, and Wilbur had already finished four years of uh, high school. But because of the change of resident, he could not receive the diploma. This is how we can say. This is all happened when you move to another place, you are not able to, to complete your studies. But all we drop out of his high school and uh, after his junior year and later he started to think about begin uh, beginning his business so a uh, printing business in 1989 started or he opened and of course with uh, Wilbur's help his yeah, older brother's help he built good design his own printing press. Wilbur worked with him in the shop and uh, in March brothers both brothers or their brothers uh, launched a weekly news uh, paper, the West Side News, it was the name. That's how it was a short about their life, about their childhood, and uh, there are many historical things about their self, their cycle, and a lot of things that are precious, like items, are still available right now, if you can see some here. And uh, I have already uh, have shown you in the earlier cycles that are inside uh, the cupboard of this they are just kind of memories for them so they have just you know made it precious into glasses windows i mean in glasses like cover and that's how i think every new thing in our world that's how covered it stay this was a beautiful story and wonderful story of them i just made a long story short in this video and I could not share everything about them because it was just shortly I described about their journey. And uh, if I would have talked in, I would have talked more about. I mean, if I could have talked more about them, it it would take longer time. So this is why I made it very short. Uh, I think it's always amazing to learn new things in our life about history, about different different things. And I'm planning to share with them about their stories into our videos. If you feel like is there any topic that you would like to study about, you would like to learn about, 
So I would highly suggest you to comment below your topic. I will try to study on it and try to make a good video on it. And you will love to watch them. This is all my main uh, purpose to delivering ideas and thoughts here for you. Thank you guys. Love you all.